In this video, we're going to continue talking about NURBS, but we're going to focus on one of the first tools that you often use with NURBS, which is Revolve. To create a Revolve, you're going to want to use one of the tools as far as drawing a curve. So to begin, I'm going to go out of the four points perspectives, and I'm going to click in my side so that I can get down and draw my curve that I would like to work with. Some tips and tricks that have worked for me in the past is whenever I am first starting out with this, normally I'll try to start my point at the zero, zero point. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and use the EP curve tool. And I'm going to click to start a point. And I'm going to go ahead and let the tool kind of do the lifting for me as far as a curve is concerned to design a vase-like shape. Once I'm done, again, I like to hit enter. However, you could also go up to your select tool. Now, a couple notes here. You could just hit the overall revolve tool. However, there's also an option here that if you go in as far as working with the surfaces in the curves menu, under the surface menu, you do have the revolve option there. But more specifically, you also have the sub option menu box, where if you click on that just to show you, you can actually change as far as the overall sweep and end sweep, so you don't have to have a 360 degree rotation. Just to demonstrate this, let's say maybe I want to go an end sweep of 180 to begin. I'm going to go ahead and revolve. And you can see now, I only revolved for half of the shape. So let me go ahead and control Z and let me do the revolve tool just at the base. Now, if you just revolve, notice what happens. Anything that you do in that sub option menu, it's actually going to remember that for you. So I'm going to control Z one more time and we're going to come under surfaces and let's go back to that revolve option area. This time I'm going to go ahead. I want it to revolve 360 degrees. So I'll go ahead and apply. And now you can see that it made my shape for me. Now, some things to point out here in the perspective view. So I'm going to go ahead and click and hit spacebar to make this a little bit larger so we can take a look at this. Maya did exactly what you told it to do. It took the curve and it revolved it around the Y axis. However, what you might be seeing now is you might see on the outside kind of this gray material, but then if you actually look inside of your shape, it's going to look completely black. This is Maya's way of letting you know there is no material applied here. If you're using the Maya software renderer, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that, it isn't that big of a deal if you're only staying in Maya. However, it's important to note that if you were to take this project or this model into a game engine such as Unity or Unreal, this area right here that has no texture on it would actually become see-through and you wouldn't actually be able to see the inside and it would look like there's only half a vase here. So there are a couple of things we can do to change that that I'll show momentarily. However, now that we have our shape made, we can still go in and edit. For instance, I'm going to come over to the outliner and I'm going to click on my new revolved surface to kind of pull it away here so that I can actually see my curve. I can come in here and I can come to the control vertices. And this is a nice thing about nerves is I can click on these now and you can see as I move them around, it's actually editing and changing the overall design and shape of my object. So this is a nice way that you can get a starting shape, but then come in and edit it as you see that you need to. Now, lastly, talking a little bit about as far as how could we fix the center portion here? Well, what you can actually do, probably the easiest thing to do, especially if you're starting out when working with NURBS and curves and revolving, 
So I'll go ahead and delete this demo here by selecting both objects. And I'm going to go ahead and hit spacebar and then spacebar again to go back into that side view. I'm going to go ahead and grab the EP curve tool again and I'm going to start making that vase again. However, this time, as I draw out the shape, what I'm actually going to do is allow it to come around here And what I'm going to try to do is kind of make a little bit of kind of a thickness to the overall design. And then I'll hit enter. So now if I go ahead and do a revolve again, and let me go ahead and hit spacebar and go back into the perspective view to show you, you now see that I have that material appearing inside of the shape. I could now go through and add in my materials or my UV mapping and then import this into a game engine. One other issue that can actually happen whenever you're working with different types of surfaces is you make it a surface, and I'll do this first and then explain, where the entire surface is black, that you're not actually seeing that gray material. What this means is that during the rotation process or during the editing tool process, something happened whereby it pretty much got inside out. To fix this, if you go under Surfaces, keeping the new revolved NURB highlighted, there's an option at the very bottom of Surfaces called Reverse Direction. And if you click on that, that should rectify the issue. I run into this issue more when I'm doing things like extruding or doing birails. However, sometimes it can happen with a revolve. And that concludes as far as our discussion on the revolve tool in Maya.